today I want to encourage you in the area of prayer. And there are so many facets of what prayer can look like. So I just want to touch on one today, the one that revolutionized the way I pray. And I believe that with everything happening right now with coronavirus and all the unknown around that, it is just so pertinent to what we are facing right now. You see, I realized a few years ago that when I prayed, I prayed from a place of fear. I was praying and that's great, but I was praying my fears. God, please don't let us get sick. God, please keep our business afloat. God, please don't let us lose money. God, please don't let the plane crash. No joke, that was my prayer. (laughs) God, please keep my husband safe. Please keep my kids safe. And don't get me wrong, prayer is great no matter what it looks like. And God still heard my prayers because he is so gracious in our weaknesses. But my prayers lacked faith and they lacked strength and they lacked authority because even as I prayed, I was focusing on my fear. I was begging God not to let my fears become a reality. And when I finished praying, I still felt afraid. I'd basically just spent several minutes meditating on my fear, even as I was praying. So no wonder I often felt worse after praying. I don't know, maybe you've experienced this. And God showed me that instead of praying from fear, I needed to pray from faith. Luke 19, Jesus tells us that he has given us authority to overcome all the power of the enemy. Once we realize this, it changes how we pray. God, I thank you that my family are safe in the palm of your hands. God, I thank you that you have a plan and a purpose for my life and for my family. God, I thank you. You have promised that no weapon formed against me or my family or my business will prosper. God, I thank you that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. God, I thank you for your promise of peace. I receive your peace into my soul right now. I thank you that your peace will guard my mind and my heart, my thought life and my emotions in Christ Jesus. See, now we're praying with authority. Instead of begging God, we are standing in the inheritance we have as a child of God and praying from a place of faith. And as I said yesterday, the spirit world will hear the shift in authority when you bring faith and your spirit will come alive with faith and with hope and with expectation for what God is going to do, even in the tough season. So keep praying, but let's pray from faith. See you tomorrow.